Well now there's been a bit of a breakthrough with the uh, MPPT charge controller project and that is that the current readings are now completely stable. Let's have a closer look. You can see just the tiniest amount of jitter in the amp reading. And if you look at the watts bar graph, it's just completely still. And that's interesting because that means that um, I can now move on to close the loop in effect. In other words, I'm going to give the Arduino, the computer bit here, control over the potentiometer. Now that doesn't mean motorising or anything crazy like that, but it does mean that um, the 555 circuit will probably have to go and a microcontroller will come in in its place and start doing the PWM uh, with variable mark space ratio and then the Arduino will talk to the PWM generator as it will be probably over I squared C and uh, initially there'll only be two commands and they will be up the PWM and down the PWM and it will simply increment and decrement the mark space ratio to um, vary the uh, pulse width and to generate or at least to home in on the maximum power point. Now the stabilization of the current readings was achieved by adding this capacitor here to the filter pin of the ACS712 current sensor and uh, if you want to know the full details look at part 3 of my ACS712 current sensor set of videos. But uh, that has completely stabilized the current readings. If you look at it now, 0.79, not a whisper of movement other than that caused by the sun coming out from behind the clouds. So that's why it's now moving up, because that's exactly what's happening. But it's beautifully stable, and you can see that the little dot there on the bar graph, uh, oh, sorry, on the graphical section, is now completely stable as well. Now one of the problems I'm going to have when I replace the 555s with a microcontroller is output swing. The 555s are running off this 9 volt battery and that means they can swing the gate of the MOSFET here by the full 9 volts that it requires to switch hard on and hard off. A 5 volt microcontroller will only be able to move 5 volts and that won't be enough to um, fully turn on and off this MOSFET. So we're going to have to start looking at um, high side drivers and uh, that's quite a complex issue in its own right so I'll probably do some videos on high side driving of MOSFETs. And the other advantage of the 555s which I'm going to lose when I go to a microcontroller is that with this circuit with a separate 9 volt power source I'm able to put the ground line of this oscillator directly onto the source pin, there it is on the brown wire, directly onto the source pin of the MOSFET and that also made high side driving much simpler. When I've got a microcontroller its ground is going to be referenced down here, system ground. Um, for various reasons it's going to have to talk to the Arduino so it needs to be at its system ground but it does mean that it's going to have uh, no direct connection with the source of this MOSFET. So again, the high side driver is uh, going to be used to solve that problem. And uh, the other thing I quite fancy is a big toggle switch down here which will be auto and manual. In manual mode it will um, take note of the position of the potentiometer for varying the PWM and in auto mode it will completely hand over to the Arduino as the source of that control a little bit like when you're flying an aeroplane and the uh, instructor says my controls, your controls, that sort of thing. So here's a final look at the wonderfully stable new current measurement readings. And the little dot in the top right there. 
which I can move around with far more control than I ever had before. And maximizing power is now relatively easy. So, it's a result.